Once again, the time has come for another contemplative Shite Squad eulogy video. And this time it's for my own boss. That's right, 80s electronic innovator Tommy Stumpf is no longer with us. And even though there was much pain and suffering, he left behind a devoted wife and a legion of friends and fans and all our elaborate plans went up in smoke. I refuse to mourn in misery and choose instead to celebrate the life's work of a great artist. There's not a whole lot about him out there in the language of English, so please join me for a little annotated listening session. <laughs> The first thing rarely noted about Tommy is his incredible artistic range. Even if you hate electronic music, you might very well like Tommy Stumpf. He is mostly known for this one big song. But that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what all he was capable of. He had something for everyone. Ballad. Hard and heavy. stuff in French. Synthesizer driven hard rock. And even a D 
Deep Purple cover. striking aspect about Tommy's body of work is how his artistic development went hand in hand with the development of computing technology. Listening to his albums in chronological order is like an audible history of the PC. He started out before MIDI was even a thing, when things were mostly analog, Recording found sounds and piecing together an electro track was a painstaking labor of love with a Korg analog synthesizer. But as an avowed early adopter, he quickly adapted to the best available technology as soon as it came out in an era when groundbreaking advancements were being made every week. For us children of the 80s, listening to his catalog is like being a kid in a candy store. He had a Waldorf microwave. Akai samplers. Good old Commodore 64. Atari ST. The whole program. And by 1993, he was sounding quite sophisticated. Nowadays, anybody can do this with a few clicks and cubates, but back then it took some real elbow grease to get anything good. From the very beginning, all the way to the bitter end, his lyrical themes focused on human stupidity. Thanking the Lord that everybody's dead? Fuck! 
Criticism of Islam. Mental illness. some good old comedy. So that's a little roundup of his expansive songwriting prowess. If you made it this far, I reckon you must be interested. So now, may I implore you to help keep the legend alive. Over half his repertoire can be found right here on YouTube. So please share his songs with anyone who might be interested. Post them on social media and all that jazz. And even though Steve Albini did cite him as one of the few electronic artists he likes, Tommy's work is not widely recognized here in America. So you can make a big difference by turning new people on to Tommy. And four of his albums have been re-released in physical form. You can get them on CD and vinyl. And by doing so, you will support his widow through these difficult times. I would recommend listening to them all in chronological order for added effect. So, from start to finish, that's Zu spät, ihr Scheiße. Hier ist Tommy Stumpf.
kriegt er nicht. Terror 2 Alles Idioten.
sense of humor is a real big payoff as you work your way through his catalogs, because the albums keep getting funnier and funnier. And by the time I got to Alizint Tote, I felt like I really knew him the way he used to be. So spread the word, keep the legacy alive, and remember, don't procrastinate. If you're working on any kind of artistic project, try and get it done sooner rather than later, because you just never know. For the stupidity here beneath the clouds is merciless, but the freedom beneath the ground is boundless. And don't forget to celebrate the lives of our dear departed creators. Because heroes never die. <laughs> Und ich bin nicht der Weihnachtsmann und dennoch wünsche ich euch ein frohes Fest! Fest.